Hello and welcome to the second part of the biotech tutorial. I'm Wolfram Franke and I'm the main developer of the biotech. Biotech allows you to load your own custom user samples. It comes with an extensive set of factory samples, but sometimes you want to have your own samples, like this one, for example. For biotech, in order to find the sample, you must place it in a certain folder on your hard disk which you can get to as follows. You go to the Go To menu. Sorry, this is a German Mac OS X, but you probably get it. You go to the Go To menu, press the Option key, and select the Library folder, which basically brings you to your User Library folder. In that, you go into the Audio folder, Presets folder, Traction folder, and there you can see the Biotech folder with your user instruments and your user samples. The user samples directory is empty, as you can see. The instruments folder already contains some stuff. Okay, now just drag and drop the sample you want to use into the samples folder, and that's all you need to do. Now let's start our host and open Biotech. This is the sound we saved in the first part of the tutorial. It's still a sign sound. Now we select the sample we just placed into the folder by clicking on the Edit button and selecting the Oscillator page. And for Oscillator 1, we select Sample and click on the Browse button, which opens a dialog with all the factory samples at first. But as soon as we click on the User button here, we can see the sample that we moved to the folder a minute before. So let's load it by double-clicking it. And let's close the browser. OK, now we should be able to listen to the sample. We can now modify the sample in various ways by applying a filter to it, applying effects to it, or making even FM synthesis with these algorithms here. But this is all part of a later tutorial. I hope you liked this tutorial. See you in the next episode. Bye.